Y'all wanna see my lunch? Good morning, Clan B. So, I'm headed to church. Well, I'm at the church, but yeah, I was headed there. So, we are contributing to a sock drive that's going on here. So what they're doing is they have this big sock in the building, which we we'll probably have to vlog another time because there's a lot of people in there and don't want to, you know, like evade their privacy and whatnot. But, um, so we got these socks. So we got this two pair of Ninja Turtle socks for, um, the drive for boys. And then we got these girl socks, frozen socks for girls. And so basically what's going on is that our church is, um, doing a sock drive to give to a local school um, for the kids um, to pick out socks that they'd like. So our church is pretty involved with the school. They help out. Um, they do like a lunch every um, once a month and everything. So they're just trying to give back to the kids and not just the teachers. So basically what we're going to do is stick those socks into this big sock thing and we'll have to show that to you later on when there's less people here. So maybe next time Sean and I come and uh, clean the church we can show you the sock. It's huge and someone made it. Anyway, I'm gonna be late so I better go. Bye! Alrighty, so Luna's gonna go get some shots today. So Miss Luna Toot, what do you think about that? I'm gonna take you to Petco and get some shots today? I'm gonna go to Petco? She's like, no, don't take me there. I remember last time you took me there and they went pew 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 to me. I'm like, hey, no, I don't want to take No. Oh my goodness, my lunch is popping in the microwave. You'll see it in a second. When it's all done, I put it in there for 40 seconds, so hopefully that's not too long. But we keep getting these um, notices from the uh, pet place saying that Luna needs her shots. And they're actually not due until tomorrow, but tomorrow's Monday, and the place that we take her to is open on Sundays at Petco. So that's why we're taking her there tomorrow. She wants my fork. Ah, she can't have my fork. So we got two notices here for her. And then we got this in the mail. And happy to say we've already purchased tickets for this, but we're going to the Music Man. So the school, uh, it's called RSA, and every year they put on a um, like full theater play thing, and they do it like four times. So they do a Friday and a Saturday, and then the following week, Friday and Saturday. So this time we're going to the first showing. We usually go to the last showing on the Saturday, but this time we're like, let's go on a Friday night. What's better to do on a Friday night than sit around and do nothing at home? So we're like, yeah, let's go to that. So anyway, we bought our tickets already, but we got this in the mail saying that it was time to get your tickets and go to Vegas. So we're going to have some fun this coming weekend, so stay tuned. You're not really supposed to film on these, um, at these events and stuff, but we do anyway. Shh. Mr. Bentley boy, he's such a good boy. Hey, Bentlers. You're so dark in here. Are you hiding your face? Yeah. We have to get him some, uh whatchamacallit, some shampoo, because we forgot to get him some shampoo at Walmart yesterday. So since I'll be at the pet store with Luna today, I'm gonna go get her some, or get Bentley some uh, shampoo so that we can bathe him tonight. Because he smells so bad from all his slobbering that he does in that crate. And you saw in yesterday's video how he's like soaked from head to toe. That's like the worst he's ever been. It's usually his chest and his legs and his feet. And then he just stinks, like he reeks really, really bad. It's like, it's nasty. And nasty, the only is so nasty. So I gotta eat and run. And take Miss Luna too with me. Luna gets to go for a ride. And I guess Sean's still at church. I'm not quite sure. Y'all wanna see my lunch? Mmm, look at that. Mmm, seafood. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I think we need to clean this out. It's looking pretty nasty in there. But I'm gonna pull out the food and make sure that Luna doesn't try and eat it because she seems to like this sort of food too. So, see if it's even hot enough. Is it hot enough? Hmm. It's pretty warm. I think I'll stick it in for another 20 seconds or so. Luna's so excited to go somewhere. Look at that, she's like, hey. Do you remember this when you were a baby girl? You remember this when you were a baby? We had you in here when we got you. Yeah. Yep, you're almost too big for it now. You're like pretty squished in there. Come on, girl. Linda, too. Hey, girl, look up. You look up through there? Okay. 
Hey girl. Are you going on your trip to the vet? Are you going on your trip? We're gonna take you to the vet and get you some shots. We're gonna be good kitty cat owners and give you all the shots that you need. Okay, girl. You ready to go, go get your shots? Yeah, we're gonna go get some shots. Yeah. She's like, I don't like that camera. I have no comment. Mm-mm. No comment at all, girl, huh? No comment? Alrighty. Well, we're about to head out. They're gonna be opening at one o'clock. I wanna get too, I don't wanna get there too early, but I don't wanna get there too late either because I don't wanna be in like a super duper long line. And she's usually the only cat that's there because all that I've ever seen people bring are dogs. But it's so much more convenient for us. So that is where we will take her. We'll take her to Petco to get her shots. Ready, Toots? Gonna get Bentley in his crate and then we're gonna go. Okay? Alrighty, we'll see you at the vet place. Alright, so Luna and I are at Petco and we're ready to go get some shots. So we're gonna go in the store and she's been a good trooper out here. She's like basking in the sun and she has been pretty quiet in here. She meowed at the very beginning, but that was about it. She's very washed over with the coloring of her and the lighting in here. So it's not a very good view of Lenitude, but she's been a really good pup kitty. So let's take her in and go get her shots. Bye! All right, so Luna had fun at the vet place. Look at her, she's all cute, cute. Hey girl! She doesn't even look like she even went to the vet place because she's all back to normal again. She's her normal self. Miss Lunatude, you're just so adorbs. All right, so. Aha. So here's the symptoms if she has any issues. So she is vomiting or diarrhea or lethargic or um, has a lump or swollen face or difficulty breathing or any of that stuff then we'd have to take her to the vet if she has any reactions to it. But she didn't have any reactions last time, last year when she had all her shots. So I think we should be good this year again. And she doesn't look sad. You don't look sad, girl, huh? You look happy? She looks like a happy cat. And she just got some treats, so she should be happy now. And I got Bentley some uh, shampoo. So I got him some lavender shampoo. It says natural chemistry and it contains natural lavender oil in it and it's for dogs of all ages. And it should calm the puppy down and dogs of all ages to help with the stress of bathing. So I thought it was a good one to get because lavender is a good, um, good smell for animals and people to deal with. So yeah, so we have fun. for like half an hour because they were having in, um, issues with their payment uh, thing. So they have a, a thing where they, it's like an iPad and they have a little swiper um, card reader thing. Well, they were having issues with it, so they had to call their technical support. So I'm standing there and we're chit-chatting about Luna and uh, cats and dogs and all sorts of stuff. So I had fun. I didn't mind waiting around because, you know, most places you're like, oh my gosh, I have to wait for so long. <sighs> but I felt bad for all the people standing behind me. There were like 10 other people with all their dogs. I was the only one with a cat. I guess no one really ever takes their cats to get looked at because the vet guy, when I did it, um, when I got up there, he's like, oh, we got a cat! So it sounded like they don't get cats very much. So we had some fun, and then Luna and I hung out at the store for a little bit and picked out a shampoo for Bentley, and uh, Luna didn't really have any say in it because she's just sitting there. She didn't meow or anything in her crate. I'm very proud of her. She's such a good kitty cat, although she's not looking interested in playing with Bentley. Bentley, leave Luna alone. Bentley! Luna doesn't want to be played with right now. I think she wants to be left alone because of the traumatizingness of getting shots in her tushy. And this time they put them in her tushy. They didn't put it in her um, in her shoulder this time. It was all in the backside of her. So I'm going to try and take Bentley for a walk because it's really nice outside and Sean's still not home. I have no clue what he's doing for so stinking long. Oh my goodness gracious. So I'm going to take Bentley for a W and then if Sean's not back, I'm going to attempt to be them because he stinks so bad. You stinky boy. Bentley. Bentley, come here. You stinky boy. You stinky boy. Yeah, Bentley, stinky boy. All right. And oh, one more thing. We have to get a poop test for Luna. Luna has to have a poop test. So basically what we have to do is on Sunday next week, we'll have to make sure that she poops in the morning and then um, we'll have to take this back over to Petco after church and it has to be like less, no more than 12 hours old or something. 
So we have to write the time that we put it on and gave it to him and stuff. But she has to get a poop test once a year just to make sure that she doesn't have any parasites or worms or nastiness going on in there. And we got to figure out heartworm for Bentley. I know I'm rambling, but you know, gotta talk about my animals. We gotta find some, some version of heartworm for him so that he doesn't get heartworm. Um, we can't give him the medicine because he had reaction to it, but there's this new one that's out, but it has, um, it's for heartworm and it's for fleas and ticks and a bunch of things. So it's like a one, one pill catch all sort of thing, but I don't know if it has the ingredient that Bentley is allergic to that a lot of border collies are allergic to. It's time to take Bentley outside because he's got lots of energy and he needs to go do something. We gotta do something about that. All right, we got the water warming up here. We're gonna give Bentley a bath. We're gonna get him in the bathtub. You ready for bathtub bath? You ready for bathtub bath? You need a bath so bad. We're gonna use this on him. It's lavender shampoo that I just talked about. So just waiting for some hot water. And not too hot though. We would just want it a little on the warm side so that he's not um, overheated and not too cold from it. So let's see if we got some hot water. Here's before. And now you can see after. All right, we survived the bath. He was an actually awesome pup. You were a good boy, huh, Bentlers? You were a good boy in there. You want it again, huh? He's like, I love that bath. That was an awesome bath. I just stood there and you put water on me and then you soaked me with that nummy tasting stuff. Yeah, and now I'm ready to dry off. Are you happy, boy? Bentley, happy boy? The floor is like super wet and he's shaking everywhere to get himself all dry. So I'm gonna have to dry off the walls and the ground and him. I tried to get him dried off a little bit, but he kept shaking. Kept shaking. That's a natural way of drying off. Oh, hot Bentley. Hot Bentley, that's your natural way of drying off. Now you're all clean. You smell like lavender now. You can be a good boy, huh? You smell so good. All right, now I gotta clean up the bathroom and get him dried off enough that he's not gonna get everything wet like the floor and everything. So, here we go. Best cleaning to us. Hello. Welcome to the end of today's Bracketeers vlog. Whoa. <laughs> We'd like to thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to our channel, you've recently subscribed, welcome to Clan B. If you're kind of hanging around, seeing if you want to subscribe, look over to your right. There's a couple of uh, videos over there. You might want to check them out, see if we're kind of your style. If we are, you can subscribe later. If you're ready to subscribe now, right below this picture here of this video that you're watching, there's a picture of our faces. And you hover over that, and a subscribe button will pop up, and you can click it. Or take it, click it, and click. <laughs> so, Go ahead and take care of your business, because love. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Deuces!